pasty. The, the shitty thing is, is it's it's a replica in the same sense that the mask is, where the colors aren't right. Like, yeah, and it's yeah, it's. I hate not that they do that. Like, high, you don't gotta but... fuck us out of you know. They you want know, to though. They want I know. To. I get it. Because then eventually, when they do decide to sell the official one, the value is that much higher. So, pasty. Every now and then, we delve into the uh, business aspect of uh, pro wrestling, and we got. We got some business news to talk about here at the end. Yeah, I was reading through this earlier, and I think I got six migraines. Oh, <laughs> so here we go. This is—I don't think you speak a... English for the first two lines, to be honest. Well, we're we're gonna try our best here, okay? All right. So, in demand, which is the leading transactional video on demand and pay per view programming distributor owned by the six C's. Those being Charter Communications, Comcast Cable, and Cox Communications announced that it has finalized a deal with All Elite Wrestling for a programming output deal that guarantees in demand a minimum of one pay-per-view event per quarter through June 2021. So, folks, you're getting four pay-per-views in a year from AEW. Minimum. 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 Yes. And, And it's going to be carried by the majority of your pay-per-view providers is the largest. So that's awesome. That means, that means now they have to, that means more people have the chance to not pay $60 for a pay-per-view in 2020. (laughs) And let's be honest. If Comcast is involved, I recommend pirating the shit out of that. because Nobody (laughs) should support Comcast. No, no, we should support AEW, but you should never support Comcast, so I don't know. It's kind of like a catch twenty two there. AEW pay per view pay per view now with Monsanto GMOs. Yes. <laughs> Did your headache go away, Pasty? Yeah, it's 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 all cured now. Okay. Because a new free version tier of the WWE Network launched on Thursday secretly without word being spoken. Da da da. The homepage can be seen at watch.wwe.com as long as you're not logged in on an account, which is honestly very easy because I can't seem to keep my account logged in on my computer. (laughs) It currently features several categories. Trending now, every pay-per-view ever, which I'm surprised is there. Well, I don't know that it has every (laughs) pay-per-view ever. It's it's just there. It's just one one twenty minute documentary about every pay per view ever, <laughs> right. and you basically they basically just tell you the main event of each show. <laughs> NXT highlights, recent WWE highlights, WWE top ten, which is recent highlights and NXT highlights. This is NXT, which is NXT highlights, <laughs> recent in ring programming, which is just highlights of what <laughs> happened recently. <laughs> WWE Network Essentials, which just kind of highlights history in WWE. That's, that's, that's a commercial for WWE Network. <laughs> TLC, which is, once again, well, probably just highlighting TLC matches throughout featured series. Watch full matches. WWE Horsewomen. WWE Champion Brock Lesnar. WWE Network Pick of the Week. And there is a recently added section that features videos from WWE's YouTube channel. Which is also free, folks. Yes. So if you can't get YouTube on your streaming you device... Get them damn highlights, <laughs> baby! <laughs> um, it, it's cool that they that they have started this now. I Obviously, they just threw some random shit together. I'm assuming they're going to iron it out in the... I'm I'm guessing near future. You know, there's something else that they just started. You said you did not watch Survivor Series, if I'm not mistaken. You are not mistaken. I have to ask, did you miss out on Stone Cold and and Mark talking on the Stone Cold show on network? The Undertaker? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. I'm not excited for that. It was really good. I'm, I'm sure it was. It was good. And not to, not only that, but uh, WWE has started launching their anti B sticks podcast campaign, and the New Day now have their own podcast. Bastards. Mm-hmm. I never did like them three. <laughs> <laughs> New Day sucks. New <laughs> Day sucks. Uh, no, good for them. Good for them. And those are three of the most 
entertaining folks oh, yeah. I would love to uh, listen to in uh, on a podcast. I think I think out of anybody in WWE that could have a podcast, I think this is probably the best bet. They're they're definitely in the top ten for sure. You know, I I'm excited for it. I'd love to see what happens, and uh, I might start listening to it. I don't know because my podcasts calendar is so <laughs> so full especially this time of year because i got a lot of tv podcasts i listen to and this is the time of year fall season is when all the tv shows are going so i have not checked it out yet myself <sighs> but i do have to assume it's gonna feel something like the edge and christian pot of awesome i hope it doesn't because i know you were a big fan of it but i just could not get into it they're okay on the occasion it. but i think edge like backed off of it now and it's not even happening anymore so. yeah i don't think it's happening at all and i just i i couldn't i did not like listening to those two as sad as that sounds they were not enjoyable or entertaining to me through pure audio form no i definitely picked the episodes i list to listen to based on who was on their show that week yeah. And if there was nobody on the show, I just I didn't listen to the show at all. So sure. hopefully New Day isn't the same thing because New Day is even more visually representative than yeah. they were as far as character driven goes with the pancakes and the unicorns and everything. So uh, but obviously Kofi has been or uh, Xavier has been doing a lot of YouTube stuff since long before WWE. Right. And Kofi is a seasoned veteran. It's amazing how long he's been in the game. And Big E just seems like a fun feller. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine the stories these guys have to tell. It's going to be a good old nerdy-ass time. It's gonna. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be fun. Um, hopefully it doesn't just come and go, you know. Right. Yeah. And, well, that happens. I would love to outlast New Day's podcast. That's That's my new life goal, I think. At least we have a good one up on them. Unless they're daily. If they're daily, we're fucked. <laughs> well, Beef Sticks podcast is not one that's going to be coming and going. But, Pasty, it is time for us to get into the Beef Sticks podcast comings and goings, ironically. Yes, indeed. And we get to start it off this week with a little bit of positive news that we've been talking about for a while as John Morrison is headed back to WWE. Oh. It's currently unclear which brand he'll be assigned to, and the terms of the contract weren't disclosed either, but WWE.com is saying it's a multi-year deal. Oh, yeah, you got to get him for five years, right? Minimum. Of course. You get, um, that's what he's got left, probably. Pro yeah, that's probably, this is probably like a lot of legends, and, and I wouldn't call Morrison a legend in WWE, but no. I would definitely call him a but legend a in wrestling. Face for sure, yeah, and a legend outside of WWE. Yeah, so I could see him, like many others, wanting to end his career in WWE and then maybe taking a backstage position. Uh, all I can say is this man is entertaining wherever he goes, and he seems to give a positive rub anywhere he goes. But in the current WWE atmosphere, I he's gotta just go to NXT, right? I right? just hope he's I hope he's doing it for the money and not for fulfillment. Because I oh. don't think he's gonna get fulfillment out of it. Uh, I think so he'll get money. Where, where do you want him? SmackDown? I think SmackDown's pretty probably solid for him. I I honestly just Pasty, Either way, you honest, kind of have an unattainable WWE champion right to beat. I, I don't watch WWE right now, so it really doesn't matter where he goes to me personally. I just want him to be happy. And if what he wants to do is collect a fat paycheck and he's not worried what kind of matches he has, then he's going to be happy. Yeah. If he wants to be fulfilled, he needs to go to NXT. Yeah, for sure. SmackDown is really loaded right now. And do SmackDown we know becoming what the, the new difference Raw. in pay is between... Raw, SmackDown, and NXT now that they're supposed to all be on equal footing? Because I'm pretty sure that pay ain't balanced. Raw and SmackDown have equal pay. NXT, I have heard, is rumored that they... Well, I think, we, yeah, we discussed it they on got, the show. They got it was rumored that they got pay. bumped, but they're definitely lower than Raw and SmackDown, Yeah, because they're still sure. not, not a traveling show and not as big of a production. Yeah. Uh, For sure. Um, but we got more people coming in, Pasty, and this time we got Melanie Cruz, who is signed with AEW. Now, you had mentioned her a little bit before with a little little tease, and of course, to reiterate, 
Brandy Rhodes and Awesome Kong came out to the ring to announce the name of their new group. Well, uh, of their group. And they're finally giving it a name, which is the Nightmare Collective. Nobody could have guessed that. <laughs> I think you um, need more than two people to be a collective, though, right? Well, They're, and they're like where, the Nightmare Pals right now. This is where Melanie Cruz comes in because... <laughs> Brandy Rhodes was interrupted by a quote-unquote fan in the audience who wanted to pledge herself to the Nightmare Collective. That fan, of course, was Melanie Cruz. And Melanie Cruz is a Chicago-based wrestler who has made her wrestling debut in 2008. And she has been wrestling for Rise, Shimmer, and other various independent promotions around the United States. So I, they keep, they, they keep adding to their women's roster, but they're really not adding much depth to the women's roster. Yeah. We need storylines. We need matches. We need reasons to care. Yep. I, I hate to say it, but they almost need to add a third hour and give that hour to the women. But Or a uh, separate show for the women. Yeah. A separate, yeah, a separate show would honestly be the way to go. Because yeah. WWE won't pull that trigger, and I really want somebody to besides Japan. And it works well. Ring of Honor. Ring of yeah. Honor has Women of Honor. Yeah, and it's and it's really good, and it took off. It's it's. I would dare say, and, and this might speak more for where Ring of Honor is than for where Women of Honor is, but I would dare say they're on equal terms right now. Yeah, and yeah, Stardom in in Japan, and then you got Shimmer and Shimmer Shine both in the United yeah. States that are just huge women <laughs> uh, superstars uncensored. Are, those are those are standalones, though. They're not offshoots of a different company, are they? Those are standalones. Although Shimmer Shimmer was the sister promotion of Ring of Honor until Ring of Honor decided to go a separate way and make its own, which is fine. Yeah, hey, sometimes you got to cut your sister out of the family. That's true. <laughs> no, I do like how. Brandy and Kong came in and completely like bulldozed the Dark Order here because the Dark Order is doing the same exact storyline with join the Dark Order. We yep. want to, you're lost and you're abused and and then they came in and they like they like tied it up in a nice bow in like one segment and the Dark Order is still <laughs> sitting over here spinning their wheels trying to get this out of their mouths. Like, <laughs> Uh, it's funny. They should probably all come together. And and they very well may. They may end up, uh, she may break off from her uh, quote-unquote Nightmare Cody group. and Or maybe Dark Order will join. Actually, it would make more sense for the Dark Order to join the Nightmare oh, family. I just don't want It'll be that. great when, when, you know, the Nightmare Collective can be that dark side. And then, like, three years from now... Cody can have it is it was me it was me all along because he's been the head of the Nightmare Collective obviously from the back right you know he wants to do it <laughs> <laughs> I I suppose this is as good a place as any for me to say oh my gosh you see the uh, new commercial for AEW no no but I, I did read stop. about it a little bit they just gotta fucking stop. <laughs> The commercial came out the week that they lost that XT. So I, I know, like, that's the best part. <laughs> so not only, folks, did they come out with a commercial that is literally just them bashing NXT. That's all it is. <laughs> it's them talking about how bad NXT is. So they are promoting the competitor. Um, so they did that, and it came out on the, the week that they lost by a decent amount. Not huge, but decent amount. Yeah. Um, God, there was something. Else. Oh, um, what was the other thing? Oh, the other thing they did is that um, they're name dropping Adam Cole to <laughs> to try to promote they their had, shit with uh with they Britt had Britt Baker, Baker do the that's same Adam, pose and everything. Yeah, that's Adam Cole's <laughs> girlfriend. Just shut up. You don't need to talk about NXT. Don't talk about them. Leave them out of it. Ignore the fact that they exist and build AEW. <laughs> Don't sell her as Adam Cole's girlfriend. Oh, I, there's they, still they're that part so of me that right. It, it's it's so wrong, but there's wrong. that part of me that's happy that they do stupid petty shit like this because I would want to do stupid petty shit like this. If I, was I, I agree situation. personally. Like they are, they're stone and... colds themselves basically because they're you know you know what I mean. Yeah, but there's personals and there's business, and and you should say to yourself. You should sit backstage and be like, oh, it'd be funny if we did this and funny if we did that. 
But then the business person, and you should say, yeah, but that's horrible for business, and we can't do that. 